What's up everybody? Welcome back to the VSO Gun Channel. We're out here doing some testing here today and I promised you guys that we were going to be doing full auto testing for cans. Well today is our baseline test. We said that we built that machine gun so we could bring you guys can testing in the full auto variety. But the question is, what should be the full auto test? In my mind, from my experience of testing cans, it should be, I think, 100 rounds. But I've been wrong in the past. So what I've done is I've contacted the guys from Rebel Silencers and they make a non full auto rated can. It's made out of mostly aluminum. It's designed, as the name denotes, for mostly hunting use. It's designed to be a very lightweight, cost-effective can. I've got four 25 round mags loaded up with Fioki 223A. And just because, like I said, I've been wrong in the past, we've added a, an additional two magazines loaded to 25, just in case she decides to go over. Well, we will have one less can in the arsenal today because we will not be leaving the range until we melt it. So we're gonna get a gathering of the mines here. I've got my buddy Nito from AP2020 Outdoors here running high speed for us, and we're gonna cook can. It won't now. All right, boys and girls. Boys, girls. Uh, <laughs> Where do we think this thing is going to fail? You've got one of these. Right. Right. And I've got some pretty extensive experience. As you can see, there's a there's a large color shift in the Cerakote on this guy. Um, go first, Bacon. You have no clue because you've not shot this one. Where do you think? I'm going to say that it's going to fail the first, uh, the first section after the blast chamber. Right. So this would be the blast baffle. Yeah, because this is going to get superheated. Okay. And then it's going to, when it changes material, this is going to act as a heat sink and cause that to either walk out or just melt. Okay. That's, Bacon has placed his bets. Neato? I'm guessing the same location. I don't know, Bacon, do you say a round count or not? Oh, 75 rounds. 75 rounds. Wow. Yeah, he's very optimistic. Yeah, what yeah. Do you got? What I'm you got? thinking uh, I'm thinking 60 rounds. I'm th how many how many round magazines are those? 25. 25. So I'm thinking maybe halfway through the third mag. I'm going second magazine. So what constitutes a fail? Obviously structural integrity loss. Change of phase. Right now this entire silencer is in the solid phase. If at any point it transitions to a liquid or a gas, it's a fail. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yep. Um Failure of the mount, causing the can to go down range, fail. This is an aluminum mount, by the way, yeah, 70, aluminum. 75, On T7. a steel barrel. On a steel barrel. And I would also say eating out of the internals constitutes a fail. So if, we, if it starts to deform to the point where the baffles change dimensions and then we get baffle strikes and it starts eating out the inside, I call that a fail. Okay? Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, bacon, cook that can. Hold up. We have a gassing problem. Did you clear it? Yep. You ready? Yep. Inspection. That's good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I guess I lose, right? Yeah. Go ahead, Bacon. Just let her go. Whoa! Got it. Nice. Got it. Oh man, y'all win. I seen her. I seen her start hate. From my angle, I seen her drooping. Oh yeah, I yeah. Going yeah. Yeah, come here, come here, come here. Look at the height speed. <laughs> 
This is my highly engineered, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Yo! Walk right here. I see something hot on the thermal. Keep going forward. It's got to be it. Everything else around it is nowhere near as hot. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. That's crazy. I'm surprised you didn't catch that grass on fire. No doubt. Well, it is. You can see that, uh, the grass actually started uh, to ignite a little bit. Hey, Bacon! Good idea on the thermal! All right, Bacon, since you had the idea for recovery, go ahead. Oh yeah, dude, look, you can see where it's charred all the grass. If it had been any drier. <laughs> the round went down the bore sideways. Oh, did it really? Or at least it tumbled somewhere in there. Yeah. Well, uh, let's take it over to the table and dissect it. All righty, guys, so let's start at the back. Uh, the mount is actually probably looks better than it did when we started, to be honest. So uh, shiny. Yeah, it's shinier. So now. fresh, so clean. Uh, we'll get to this in a second, because this is a serialized part. But if we look, this is the first baffle here. And actually, it doesn't look bad. This looks like it could be reusable, in my opinion. Same thing with the second baffle. Now, we get into the third baffle, and you can see that we've got a strike here. This is probably, if you look at the high-speed footage, you can see that there's some drooping. And what's happened is that the bullet has probably transversed the baffles while they were in this position. So that it was basically drooping, and it was able to cross the section because it's a 30 cal can and make it to the third baffle before it contacted anything. And then, of course... <laughs> <laughs> the fourth baffle here uh, clearly had some issues after that. And then our end cap here also shredded. So, uh, not usable, <laughs> those ones. But here's the big one. This is the serialized part. And you can see here, there is definitely some bowing. So the heat was collecting here. There was a lot of stress from that first to second, or from the blast chamber to the second baffle here. And you can see that it is literally stressed it apart. And if we get a close up there, you guys can see that this is dimensionally larger here at the front than the actual baffle, because it's flared out when it was hot. That thing basically went like that until it ran out and prematurely separated. So it does look like we stripped some of the threads here at the back of the first baffle. But yeah, it is cooked. Well guys, that is how you melt a silencer. I think that 100 rounds for our full auto rating test was appropriate. We made it, what, two and a half magazines? Which I think, I think I called that, didn't I? Ooh, I don't know. 
I, I think, think I did. I did. I said, I think I said the third mag. Somewhere all right. The third mag. We're gonna. So what do I win, Kurt? Well, I I, I would give you that, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That, uh, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have one that works. <laughs> uh, well, I did talk to them. They said they would warranty it. Oh, we'll really? see what happens. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, cool. But uh, yeah, guys, that's how you melt a silencer. Special thanks to Nito for coming down here and running high speed for us. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and look forward to more can testing here in the future here at the VSO Gun Channel.